Hello, Fluorescent fans. Super excited today because uh, I finally get to show off this light that I've been working on for uh, two years now, the full wave light. Uh, for those of you who don't know what full wave UV is, we refer to um, using the three most common frequencies in our hobby, that is short, mid, and long wave. And um, yeah, it's got all three of them in one. So it's still a bit away from being completed from being production ready, but um, that's why I'm making this video today, because uh, I need some feedback on some of the features that I've uh, incorporated into this light. So why would you want a light like this? Uh, here we've got a piece of tuctopite from Kanger Lusak in Greenland, and when you turn on shortwave, it fluoresces pink. However, when you do midwave, it turns this bluish white. Lastly, longwave. It uh, fluoresces this yellowish orange. And that's part of what's great about a full wave light. You can potentially have three different reactions on the same piece. Um, you don't have to carry around three lights like, like uh, this setup. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with a setup like this. Uh, if it works, it works, right? However, it can't do this next bit. So here we've got a beautiful piece from Arizona. Right now, I've got it on short wave, and uh, you can really see the uh, green willemite there, as well as a little bit of the uh, red calcite on top. Uh, but what, what happens when I turn on the mid wave? So the mid wave really, really likes uh, that calcite. So uh, without, with, yeah, that calcite really pops. Uh, Next, we're going to do long wave, and uh, right now you can see a little bit of the purple fluorite, but the long wave will really enhance it. There you go. And without, with. And uh, the previous setup that you saw wouldn't have been able to do this because it doesn't have all the beams focused in one place like this. Now, as for how the flashlight itself works, you'll see we've got three buttons here. They correspond to short wave, mid wave, and long wave. So it's a slightly unorthodox position. Normally you would have short, mid, and long, but that's something I'm playing around with for this prototype. I personally like having the short and long, which are the two most frequently used wavelengths. I like having them within very close distance of each other. Uh, as for the buttons, you'll see they are green and red. Uh, that was done for three reasons. Number one is familiarity. You know, those are the universal stop and go colors. So when you want the LED to go, press it. And when you want it to stop, there you go. Now the second reason is that these colors, red and green, are used to preserve night vision. Since so much of our hobby is done at night in dark places, we want to be able to preserve our night vision as best as possible. Uh, and then lastly, this is feedback that I've had from customers as well as dealers that own full wave lights. Maybe not necessarily this one, but it's super helpful to be able to see, one, is your light still on? And two, which one of them are, is on? So, yeah. Uh, but also, these LEDs, they function, they serve a second function, which is to provide feedback for you when you're charging your light. So let me plug that cable in. And you can see, you can see it's charging right now. Uh, when it's all the way here, all the LEDs will be green. And now let's talk about the long wave because that one is a little bit special. So for the long wave, you've got an interesting problem just because long wave LEDs They've been around for a lot longer, they've found more industrial applications, and pretty much as a result of that, any long wave LED you find on the market is going to be much more powerful than mid and short wave. Um, but generally with full wave lights, you want them to have similar amounts of uh, power for all the wavelengths. So right now you're looking at a uh, starry night calcite from New Jersey. You can see that when I turn on the short wave, you can see that calcite. And when I turn on the long wave, similar amounts of power, you can see the blue sphalerite. However, um, I wanted to give users the option. So if you hold down the button 
you'll see that it actually ramps up. And this is great if, you know, you've, you're going on a collecting trip the next day and you don't have to bring multiple lights. And if you continue to hold down the button, you can ramp it down again. So this is also super helpful though because I found that there is a little bit of subjectivity when it comes to multi-wave specimens. Uh, and I'll demonstrate that. Let me turn off the lights. So, if I turn on the short wave, a little bit much on the long wave, but... Mm, let's see. Yeah, right about there is where I like it. It's a good balance of being able to see both the short and long reactions, so you can see the blue sphalerite as well as the red calcite, and um, they're probably not matched right now. So if I turn on just the uh, calcite, or, or just the short wave, you'll see the calcite really well. Just the long wave, the long wave is actually a lot brighter. Uh, so yeah, that's why I wanted to give users the choice. You can uh, match the specimens as you like them, or you can just uh, turn it on all the way and um, if you have a show the next day, or you're going on a long wave collecting trip, whatever you want to do with it. Um, and as you'll have noticed, it actually remembers what setting you had it on last. So if you want it to have the same power, just set it once and uh, just set and forget. So thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. That's what I've got to show for now. Uh, for those of you that are still watching, I wanted feedback. How do you guys like this button placement? Would you prefer short, mid, and long, or do you guys like it how I have it, where short and long are right next to each other? Uh, the second thing I wanted to know is what batteries do you guys own? Because I had room to put a big, big battery called a 32650, and the idea was that, you know, you just set this in here and it has USB charging, so last you a day. Um, but you can see it is much bigger than an 18650. Uh, but it is nearly double the capacity, so you do get something for that large size. Um, yeah, so as for timeline though, so right now this is going to be shipped off to uh, some dealers and field testers that I want feedback from, but uh, Tucson next year, Tucson 2024, I'll be bringing it uh, to the show so you guys could see it in person. Uh, I'm usually there the first, first weekend that it's uh, open, which I believe Next year will be t the twenty the weekend of the twenty sixth, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, as for you know how much this is and you know when it'll be coming out, you'll have to check the uh, description in the YouTube video because uh, those are subject to change. So I'll post uh, an update there if uh, there are any.